What's up guys, Shake Around, and welcome back at you with another video, and today we are back on the channel doing our week 5 predictions. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe for more great content. Yesterday I did not get out the fantasy football video. I don't know how much I really want to do that video. These video, Those videos just because like, I haven't done them all year, and like I don't know how interesting they'll be. And I, I don't really know, man. Like what really is there to do on those videos so we're just gonna hop right into this i have not that much time hopefully i'm gonna get out my nba power rankings later today that'll be my first video on the second channel a link i will put that in the description let's hop into this video i don't have a lot of time i gotta get to school the rams play the seahawks on thursday night football and I'm going with the Rams, mainly just because the Rams' defense is so much better than Seahawks' defense. I think it will be a decent game that the Rams win 27-24. I think that's a good score. Stop advertising things. I mean, I wish I had an Xbox Series X. It's just making me angry. Um. So, yeah, 1 o'clock games. The Patriots travel to Houston. This is just going to be annihilation of the Texans. Let's go 31 to 3 Patriots. Mm, no, let's go I think the Patriots will have field goals. Maybe like eh, the Patriots will win by 30, 33 30. It'll be a demolition. Bill Belichick will shut down the Patri the Texans offense. The Titans and the Jags. Um I'm going with the Titans. They will score a lot of points. 35 to... I think the Jags will as well. I think it might be closer than some people think. Let's go 35-20, though. Titans. The Broncos travel to Pittsburgh. And this is going to be an upset right here. I like the Broncos in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's offense is so sluggish. It all depends really on if Teddy Bridgewater plays. If Bridgewater plays, the Broncos win. If Locke plays, the Steelers win. As of right now, we don't really know who's going to play, so I'm going with the Broncos. I don't necessarily think it's a safe bet, but it'll be low scoring either way. With a score of 19 to 14. No, not 24. 19 to 16. It'll be a failed goal game for the Broncos win in the end. Both teams have very good defenses. Oh, wait, this is the game that I was supposed to do before anything else even happened. The Jets and the Falcons in London, 9.30 a.m. ET. I live on the East Coast, so that's when it starts here. So I'm going with the Falcons. I like their offense way more than the Jets. I like the Jets' defense, like, a little bit more. I like the Falcons' offense just way more compared to how much I like the Jets' defense more than the Falcons. So... It'll it'll be a game in the twenties more than likely, probably twenty one to let's go twenty two. It'll be a close game. Defenses will play okay. Zach Wilson will probably throw at least two picks. I'm just saying. I mean, he hasn't got a game without throwing a pick. I doubt he'll do it. Uh, the Packers and the Bengals. I'm going with the Packers. I feel like they will score 30 points winning this, um, 30, I think the Bengals will as well, 30 to 23, touchdown game, the Packers win. The Dolphins and the Bucks, the Bucks will win in, in dominating fashion. You know, I'm going to make the Bucks drop a 40 bomb on the Dolphins, 42, I think the Dolphins will score not that much. 42-17. I feel like it's going to be a blowout. The Dolphins still with that too. Uh, I mean, they'll move the ball against the Bucks pass defense because it's not very good. But I have a feeling the Bucks are about to do so, uh, just demolish them. Now, here's another upset that I'm going with. I'm going with Washington over the Saints. This will be another low-scoring game. Then I'm going to give Washington the win in 18. Weird score to 13. I Jameis will struggle, I feel like. Washington's defense isn't that good. But Heineke plays, for whatever reason, 10 times better 
in Washington than he does anywhere else. Like, he got destroyed in Buffalo, but could go to toe-to-toe with the Bucks at home. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I like Washington in this one. Lions travel to Minnesota. Minnesota will score a lot. Detroit will as well. I'm going to give Detroit an actually 28 points. Just because I think last week's Vikings game was just a fluke. Baker did not play, look good. I'm going with the Vikings. Eagles and the Panthers. I think the Eagles, this will be a high scoring game as well, I feel. But not necessarily like insanely high scoring. But the Panthers will win by one in the end. 27, no, two, let's say. 29, 27. Panthers maybe last second field goal or something. But I like both of these offenses. Jalen Hurts, Sam Darnold, two very pleasant surprises this year for both teams. It'll be a very good game. The Bears and the Raiders. I like the Raiders. I'm not going to say they score a lot of points, just because they probably won't. Let's go 25-17. The Bears... You know, I'll give the Bears something in the 20s, actually, because they will score points. Justin Fields, I just really don't see them beating the Raiders. I could see it just because, like, the Bears' defense is really good. They might shut down Derek Carr and the deadly Raiders' offense right now. But I don't know, man. I really just see the Bears not winning. My Browns travel to L.A., and my opinion will be a very good game. Uh, not, hopefully it'll be on TV, because that game should be on Fox, that game should be on Fox, that game will be on Fox, this game will be on CBS, because I don't live in Ohio, and I want the Browns to be on TV, so, I, I, I think my Browns are gonna win, the Chargers don't necessarily play that well in LA, I know they played very good last week, but the Chargers are a more road team, the Browns, I think, will get back on track, I think the Browns will have lots of rushing yards, the Browns defense is playing an elite level right now. I think the Browns will win. They'll score 27, and the Chargers will score 24. Let's make that another 27-24 game. Um, the Giants travel to Dallas in, I guess, America's Game of the Week, which I just hate that the Cowboys are on TV. Like, last week's Panthers game is going to be more competitive than this. The Cowboys are going to win. I like the Giants' defense. I think the Cowboys will score 31. The Giants, I... At 14. No, at 13. I just don't see the Giants. I, I think the Giants could actually win. Because they just... I just feel like this is a game that the Giants would win. But... When you look at it on paper, there's just no way the Giants win. The Cowboys are too good. And now, if I were picking an underdog pool, like I am, um, I am going to pick the Car- the 49ers in this one. The Cardinals are favored by 4.5 over them. And I, the Cardinals are undefeated. I don't think they're going to stay undefeated for much longer. 49ers have the edge of coach. Trey Lance is likely to play at quarterback, I think. The 49ers offense came to life when Trey Lance was put in on Sunday. He was literally on pace for like 40 fantasy points. It was insane. I like the Cardinals. I mean, I like the 49ers winning in a very close game, 28-26. I think the 49ers get to win on the road. The Cardinals will get to win on the road the next time these two teams play. Sunday Night Football, arguably the game of the week, the Bills and the Chiefs, and I'm going with Buffalo. I don't think anyone can stop these Buffalo Bills right now, and they are just insane. Jo- they're... Oh my gosh. So I reach for my phone, and I see the Patriots are releasing Pro Bowl cornerback Stephon Gilmore. That is wild. I didn't realize he was even on the PUP list. Um, and he is being cut. Wow. Okay, that just... The Bills are going to win. No, in a very high-scoring game. 
Let's go. 40. I think they can score 40 on the Chiefs. Chiefs defense is just awful. 48-37 in a very high-scoring affair. That seems very high-scoring, but trust me, these two teams can put up points. I just like the Bills' defense a, a little bit more than the Chiefs' defense. Like, kind of a lot more. And now, Monday Night Football, the Colts and the Ravens. I like the Ravens putting up 20 points or something. Just picking 20 points for every game. 28. 21. Basic score. The Ravens win in the end. They're just... I like their offense way more than the Colts' offense. They... Run it effectively. I don't know how well Jonathan Taylor will do against the Ravens. Defense is allowing 3.8 yards carry. Hope you guys like this video. Stephon Gilmore is cut now. I honestly kind of hope the Browns do sign him. Because that would be epic if the Browns signed him. Imagine Denzel Ward, Stephon Gilmore, and then Greg Newsom. Like, I get that they have Greedy Williams and Troy Hill in behind them. But uh, just Stefan Gilmore on the Browns thought makes me happy. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta go get to school. Sorry for that blacked out. I tapped the wrong button. See you guys in the next video.